let's discuss about frequency distribution tables and graphs this is a topic related to statistics now coming to this topic initially statistics is very much related with data so what is a data the most important factor of the topic of statistics is data without data you cannot estimate or you cannot get into the topic of statistics and hence cannot get into the topic of frequency distribution tables and graphs so what is a data data is collection of minimum information and then trying to draw conclusions out of it so for example i have a car moving on the road so i just calculate the time and the speed which is nothing but data i calculate that the first hour the car goes at 40 kilometers per second then i assume that then i also calculate with the next time after 1 hour i calculate the speed of the car which might be around 60 kilometers per hour so then i calculate again for the third hour which again might be the speed with 80 kilometers per hour so with this different calculations of the speed i am nothing but collecting the data so that data will help me in drawing conclusions in various ways i just want to say for example i calculate the population of the country for 2013 2014 2012 2011 then i can make a conclusion on how much of the population is increasing every year then what precautionary measures i can take to control the population so the data of the population which is collected every year helps me in estimating the population increase or rise in population and then controlling measures taken immediately as a cause so that is where statistics comes into existence with the minimum data information which we collect before we draw conclusions so this is where we will see what exactly the data is the minimum information it can be either the verbal form or it can be the numerical form it can be either the verbal form or even the numerical it can be numerics or it can also be in the form of graphical representation so the data which you are going to collect can be in three different forms one is the verbal form or the numerical form or the graphical form so my definition says that the minimum information which i collect from different ways either in the verbal form or the numerical form or the graphical form which helps me in drawing conclusions is called data so this minimum information which i collect and then study or research or experiment on that given information <coughs> is called data so that is how the data helps me in statistics and the drawing of conclu conclusions can be in various ways so let's take an example for example data of population of the country every 4 years now in this case of an example let's see one of the example for how a data is collected and how we can draw the conclusions in case of an example where i collect the data of population of the country every 4 years the census which the census which happens in the governmental uh, department every 4 years there, there is a department which collects the population of the country and that that recorded data can be used as the best example for how a data collection is done and how the conclusions are drawn out of it so let me just see so let me say my in 2014 the year 2014 the population of the country or the population of say india is around 112 million so this is one of the data which i have collected for the year 2014 now next i have 
for 2010 it was 98 million so the four years passed let me say in 2006 the population of the country was around 86 million in 2002 the population of the country is 80 million so this makes me understand that the population of the country as recorded for every four years will draw conclusions in understanding that here with rise of every four years the population of the country is increasing that means there are many precautionary measures which we need to take for future years to reduce the population of the country because when population increases there will be a lot of problems arising out of the population of the increase. The scarcity of food, the occupation of land and various other things which affect the population of the country. So therefore, to control the population, this data will give us an estimation of taking an urgent precautionary measures from the governmental department. So this is how we can draw the conclusions from the data and this can be one of the best example for the data collection now as we have discussed with the definition of the data and with one of the example as we have discussed in case of population of a country every four years now there are two types of data which are taken into consideration and understanding the difference between the two types of data which we are going to discuss now is very important because these are the two basic things through which we understand statistics more better so there are two types of data one is the primary data And this is the secondary data. Now what is the difference between these two types of data? What is the primary data and what is the secondary data? Primary data is the data which we directly collect through our active involve, involvement in the process. Say for example, I wanted to find the community say let me take a small village and I wanted to survey how many people are educated in that village and how many of them are not educated so in this case I'm just going directly as a person and involving in collecting the data on a piece of paper through inquiry from each and every house and house uh, and many people out in the residential part so this is called the primary data because my involvement is direct <clears throat> then what would be the secondary data the population of the country is something which I cannot go directly and involve. I cannot go directly to the entire country and calculate the population of the country. So in this case, I need to take support from either the governmental services or few of the departments or I can collect the information of the data from the best online sites or the Google search which can give me the data indirectly. So the data which you get indirectly without your involvement is secondary data and the data which you can get directly through your involvement is the primary data. The example for this being collecting the illiteracy or illiteracy rate in a particular village can be a primary data because you are going to directly involve in the process. But collecting the population of the country may not be a primary data because your involvement is impossible to collect the population of the whole country. So that is how I differentiate between the primary data and the secondary data.